Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's still saving today. He's still transforming nations today. He's still healing today. He's still opening blind eyes today. Are you with me? Say hallelujah. Does anybody believe that? Yes. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. So if you're sick in your body, lift your hand right now. And Jesus is going to touch you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The same works that I have done, you shall do also. And even greater works you shall do. The Bible says that Jesus of Nazareth went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil. The Bible says that Jesus taught in the synagogues, preached the good news of the kingdom, and healed all sickness and all disease among the people. The same works that I have done, you shall do also. So in the name of Jesus, by the authority you have given to your church, Jesus, I take authority over every sickness, over every illness, every disease, whether the person is here, whether the person is in India or anywhere throughout the earth. In the name of Jesus, I speak to the sickness and whatever is causing the sickness, and I command it in the name of Jesus, leave them. In the name of Jesus. And from the top of your head to the tip of your toes, I speak to every person now. In the name and the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be healed in Jesus' name. Thank you for doing that, Jesus. Now I'm going to pray right now. And before I do that, listen to me closely. The Bible says, have faith in God. If anyone says to this mountain... Be thou removed and cast into the sea and does not doubt in their heart, but believes that what they say will happen, it shall be done for them. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and you shall have it. Are you with me? We're going to take authority over every demonic activity, over every demonic attack against the precious people of Manipur and all throughout India, and even the nations that are being persecuted. Are you with me? So everyone lift your hands. We're going to do this together. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Jesus, that you said in your word, Jesus, the same works that I have done, you shall do also, and even greater works you shall do. We thank you, Jesus, that it's not by might nor by power, but it's by my spirit, says the Lord. We thank you for this, Jesus. We thank you that the Bible says that when you go away, Jesus, you would not leave us alone. You would not leave us as orphans. You would send the comforter. You would send the helper. You would send the Holy Spirit. He would not only be with us, but would be in us. Christ in you, the hope of glory. So in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we take authority over every work of the enemy in Manipur and throughout India. In the name of Jesus, we speak to you now. In the name of Jesus, leave this place. In the name of Jesus, leave and never return. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray right now that you would raise up every person here to share the gospel, to heal the sick, to raise the dead, to work miracles in your name, Jesus, to do what you have called them to do. Lord, encourage every person here. Let them know with everything on the inside of them, Jesus, that in you, nothing has been lost, but everything has been gained. You have blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. I pray a blessing over every person here. Lord, that they would walk with the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Lord, that everywhere they go, Jesus, in their families, in the schools, in other countries, Jesus, that they would carry the fire of the Holy Spirit, that people would be saved, people would be healed, people would have an encounter with Jesus through their lives. We pray a blessing over every family, every person that was affected in India, Lord Jesus, every person that is being affected now. We pray they would sense your guidance, they would sense your comfort, they would sense your peace, they would be overwhelmed with your presence, Jesus. For we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, we thank you, Jesus, Hallelujah. that you are bringing another great revival, another great spiritual awakening, 
to India all throughout India. From the north to the south, the east to the west, you are going to shake India with another great spiritual awakening in the name of Jesus. We speak that forth, that we're going to see a great move of God all throughout India, Lord Jesus. Even those that look like they'll never be reached will be transformed and made preachers of the gospel. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you that the nations of the earth will be shaken once again. For the Bible says in the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Boys, girls, all races, all nationalities, and everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. We thank you, Jesus. We believe this. We walk in this, Jesus. For the Bible says, ask and it shall be given. We're asking knowing that it's already been given. We thank you for this. We thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that with you for us, Jesus, if God be for us, who can be against us? We thank you, Jesus, that you will have your way in every way. You alone get all the glory, all of the honor, all of the worship, and all of the praise. Our Father God, Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, we yield to you now. In Jesus' name, everyone said, Amen. Amen. One more big shout of praise to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That was a great ministry. Hallelujah. That is a great ministry of prayer. Hallelujah. That is a great ministry of healing. Thank you, Pastor Taylor. Really appreciate that you came up and stirred up the whole thing. Thank you very much. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for that. It was a great ministry. Thank you.